Well, another piece of industrial automation. This is a rotating warning beacon from Allen Bradley. This one has a small problem. It has a 24 volt, 35 watt halogen bulb in the middle of it, you can see there. Let's take the top off. It just unscrews and then it lifts off. Oh, I busted the reflector off a little bit. Now this inside piece unscrews and then it lifts out as well. And I've already got it disconnected from the terminal block on the bottom down here. So this one is a Allen Bradley 855BM-ARA24. 24 volts, 1.7 amps. It tells me max bulb, 24 volt, 35 watt. So here's a closer look at it. So it's got that 35 watt bulb in this little socket. And what happens, if I hadn't have busted it, but I can fix it, it's okay this actually rotates around and you won't believe the features this thing has built into it. So I suspect what's going on on this particular unit is the commutator is bad on the motor because sometimes it'll rotate and sometimes it will not. And so look at that little tiny Torx. Who would put a tiny Torx in there? Come on, Alan Bradley. Almost doesn't fit, but thank you Harbor Freight for my little Torx bit assortment. Now we can take that completely off. Now this cover will come off completely. And then we can look at the inner workings of this guy. Look what's down in here, a little motor. And it's like a little rim drive motor because it just turns and that knurled nut drives an O-ring on the turntable to turn the light assembly around and it is spring loaded. Hard to see where the spring is, but there's the hook. There's the spring hiding back underneath there. So let's go ahead and take out these screws. Torx again, wonderful. Thank you, Alan Bradley. Remember, you can buy better than Alan Bradley, but you certainly cannot pay more. All right, so I've got the three screws detached. They hold the motor assembly in with some kind of a rudimentary shock absorption system with some rubber grommets on here. But before I go any further, let's go ahead and power this unit up and I'll show you some of the interesting details of this unit. So I'm going to need my Sola 24 volt power supply that I just repaired on a previous video. So let's go ahead and hook this up to it because it does run on 24 volts. Okay, so I've got it semi-connected to the power supply. The power supply is on, but it's not attached. I'll go ahead and attach the power supply lead to it. We'll see if it's gonna start. And it does start and it runs. Now this model does have a high and a low speed, so it's on high speed now. And there it's on low speed. and the light's working. Well, wouldn't you know it? Look on the left terminal of the bulb. It just burned out. No connection on the left terminal anymore. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll have to fabricate something so you can see what's going on, but uh, we'll get a light in there. Maybe it's just an LED or something just to show you it has power and I'll show you what's going on with the unit. But oh my God, this was just working and the bulb burned out. Unacceptable. I did end up with a 12 volt bulb and I'm just gonna run it at 24. It'll be a little extra bright, but here's what happens. It doesn't move at all. And if you give it enough time, you hear a click and it times out. So if I remove power and reapply power, I get a light and then it times out. So I suspect a bad commutator on the motor because let's go ahead and remove this. I'll apply power and I'll turn the motor and it goes ahead and it takes off. Now, if you look very closely, Right there, you can see an optical sensor. So if I block the light to the optical sensor with my thumb, it ramps up to a very high speed, then it shuts off. This thing is a smart, intelligent microprocessor that throttles the motor speed to keep the flasher at the right speed. And the way it does that is it uses that light to pass through these little holes in the turntable and it measures the speed that it passes that LED receiver. So when I block that, then it times out. and it shuts off. So let's see if we can repair the motor in this guy, even though I burned out the halogen light, but let's see what happens. 
So it'll keep running now because I have the recording lights on. But even though I can block that sensor, and it still shuts off. So there's the bottom of the motor. You can see the brushes right there. There's the relay and some other associated components down here. So let's go ahead and see if we could look at the motor itself and see if we can find a bad comm bar on the commutator. All right, so here's the motor. Let's go ahead and pull the brushes out of it. We just gotta release these springs. Take the spring completely off of that one. Pop that spring out. I don't see if the brushes will come out. There's one brush. There's the other brush. Now we'll go ahead bend these tabs up out of the way. Then we can pull the bottom off the motor. There's where the brushes ride. There's the comm bars. They actually look pretty good. A little bit of discoloration on that one, but look how much wear there is on that. Oh my gosh. I think it's kind of worn out. I don't think we're saving this one. Look at how much wear there is right here. That's got to be 20, 30 thousandths of wear. Look at that deep divot right there. Oh yeah, look at that brush. It's just worn out, so I don't think we're going to be saving this one. The comm bar is worn out and the brushes are worn. They still have enough brush, definitely. We could go ahead and reuse those brushes, but the comm bar is the big problem. Okay, so I have my voltmeter set on continuity, so if I short my leads together, you can hear a beep. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and very carefully make sure we have continuity. Continuity 1 to commutator 1 is good. From 2 to commutator 2 is bad. I touched 3 by mistake right there. I get nothing here. So it's actually open right in here. It's worn all the way through the commutator. From number three, good continuity. From three to four, nothing. So number four is completely open. I get no continuity right there. And number five, perfectly fine. Back to one, just fine. So the problem is, if you look very, very closely especially right here. There is no continuity from this point right here to here. You can in fact see that the commutator has been broken right there. There is no continuity there. That one has continuity. You can see the shininess. No continuity right there. Just the slightest bit maybe right there on the side. That one looks good, it's still connected, but right here it's totally open. Open right there, and it looks like pretty much open the rest of the way. Anyhow, Alan Bradley fail. You just did not design this thing good for continuous rotation use. Wow, look at that. You can definitely see where the uh, continuity is and is not. It's worn out. There's no bringing this one back to life. All right, so here's a quick look at the circuit board. Nice zoomed in view, bridge rectifier right there. Probably a power transistor or a FET. Maybe a little regulator IC. And then over here is the microprocessor. Look at that. Mega. I can't quite make out the numbers on it. They got so much 
flex on it. They didn't clean the board afterwards. Maybe Omega 4 or 5? Just can't quite make it out. But anyhow, that's the microprocessor that controls the speed of the motor and controls the lamp output. So over here on this side, we have this relay. That's the contact for the lamp, it looks like. Some support capacitors. And I think they're using this as the thermal fuse, just in case something goes absolutely catastrophically bad, this will open up. Can't quite make out the numbers on this guy. I can see it's an L78 something, probably a 5 or a 12 volt regulator I see. Alan Bradley fail! There's no way to build this thing that's going to have longevity whatsoever. Anyhow, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider making a donation on my YouTube homepage with the PayPal donate button or at paypal.me slash norcal715. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring that bell to get future notifications. Unfortunately, this one's going to be a goner. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill and out of the recycle bin. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.